I was broke till I was 30, 30 years old. And yes, I never ever sold the skill, never ever knew how to make money just till when I was almost 30. Now, that should not be you and that is why I'm doing this channel. Let's go straight to the point, right? On every street, every enterprise you see and everybody that you meet have a money problem. They are either trying to make money to feed or make more money from the salary or make more money currently at what it is that they are doing. All right. One of the problems about money is the way we understand it. So most of us grew up to have a perceived value added and attached to money. Sometimes that perceived value is derogatory. It's something that makes us not um, have a healthy relationship with the idea of making money. For me, I came from a background where I didn't see anyone who was a millionaire in that sense. So that was already patterning the way I thought about money without my knowing. Secondly, I was also raised in a religious background that attached too much money to sin. I grew up in a background, in a religious background that was very conservative and especially attached money making or too much money or wealth and riches to sin and hell. Okay, so if you're like me, you'll know that I was already estranged to the idea of, you know, living a baby girl life. But I had to unlearn all of that just before my 30th birthday and I can tell you it is not a small struggle. It hasn't been easy, but I needed to hack it. I needed to hack the money problem that I had, which were from the ideologies from childhood that I needed to break down totally. Like I needed to get have my life back. And if you're like me and you're watching, one of the things I want to tell you is first of all, money solves problems. Now, let me put it the other way. How do you even make money? Money comes by solving problems. Nobody is ever going to give you their money in exchange for something that is not solving a problem for them. And you know, usually when we still talk about problems, people begin to think of, oh, you know, how am I going to invent a cure for cancer? How am I going to get a cure for HIV? How am I going to vaccine that will make people not to die? Those are also problems, but I do, I mean problems that are relatable, problems that you and I can handle easy peasy because that's where our money lies so on this channel i'm here to in, in motivate you and show you the skills and the money you have been leaving on the table either because of your mindset or your skill set deficiency okay so let's go number one reason how do you even make money you clearly make money by solving people's problems and people's problems come in at least five ways five ways number one People want to be healthy. Nobody wants to die early. Nobody wants to die miserably, right? So if you have a health product, if it will make them lose weight, it will make us stay away from sickness of any sort, if you make us not to go through that surgery but heal naturally, you know what I mean? All of that, if, if, you, if you have a product that will solve people's health problems, is going to fly. Number two, people want to feel good about themselves, especially feeling like they are better than other people, right? So people want to feel like they're the they are better than other people. So if you have a product that will make somebody feel more superior, you know, um, you know, have a chance of being chosen over somebody else, yeah, no matter how vain that sounds, but that's true, you're gonna make money. Okay, so think about it like, you know, like you're a tailor. I was just giving this illustration to my son and I, you know, it just made sense to me. So you're a tailor and you don't want to serve just the clothing problem people have which is also a problem right so but there are everybody on the street like if you live like in a city like mine almost every three minutes walk you're gonna see a tailor a seamstress somebody who is making clothes down the line so if you don't want to play in that problem solving environment you can take it a notch higher and begin to tackle people who do not always have um, their problems all about everywhere people who are not just saying I want to wear something but I saying I want to be able to wear something that when I walk into the room everybody leaves every other person and focuses their attention on me now if you want to be that kind of designer tailor then you know that your materials your cost your perceived value have to be different right so people want to pay and want people that will solve problems that will make them feel better than other people right number three and these are also solutions I communicated to my son by the way he's 13 all right so number three if your solution is going to help people find things easier 
right? So they don't have to leave the comfort of their home. They don't need to um, spend a lot of time. So time saving and ease, I put them together. They are good. You're going to make money. You're solving a problem of convenience. You're going to solve a problem of timeliness for people. You're going to make money, right? Now, the fourth type of problem that you should be solving to make more money is helping people to stay happy. Helping people to stay happy and motivated. As much as this sounds, why do you think record record label artists are making money? Um, singers, comedians, you know, some TV show artists, you know, um, Cartoon Network producers are cashing out, right? No matter who you are and the kind of work that you do, after you had this job, you want to relax. Why do you think the beer parlors are constantly overflowing? Because they provide a solution that will make people at least still hold on to hope and hold on to the good life and hold on to life, hoping that things will be better, right? So the idea of relaxation or pursuing happiness is such a key problem that when you solve, you are going to have so much more money than you currently are. The fifth kind of problem, and I'm willing to do another video, let me know in the comment section if you want a video that will break down the kinds of problems, categories of problems under these five kinds that I've mentioned. The kind of businesses that fall into each of these, I'll be willing to do that. Let me know in the comment section and I'll do that immediately. So the fifth type of problem that when you solve, you're going to make a lot of money is a problem that has to do with making more money. Yeah. So what are we talking about? If, if you're able to let people know or if you give them a solution that will help them make more money or save some money, boy, you're going to make money because everybody really wants that. Everybody wants to be able to save their money or make more money. So nobody wants to be told sometimes to call down on your expenses, live a frugal life, live a minimalist life because, because, because inflation, because that. That's good advice to save and all that, but it really doesn't, you know, cut that whole, you know, I'm here also to make my mark, I'm here to enjoy life. It doesn't cut it in the psychology of humans, right? So these are five problem areas that you can look at, positioning your services and making more money. And of course, there are also different kinds of ways you can make money and more money, yeah? So for instance, this is another part. You can choose to solve a problem of, say, food. So you go to a particular location and you decide to locate your restaurant. I currently have a restaurant like that. Okay, so you look at the restaurant and then you begin to sell food and people come in and eat. But, you know, there's a problem with that model because it's not scalable. You're the one selling there, you know, and you're only selling to people who are in that vicinity who can find you. And what about those who are not there? What about those who are in other countries who will still need to have a taste of your type of food? Okay, now remember that the more people you also serve, the better. So in another video, right after this one, I'm going to be telling you how you can scale your money. Okay, and of course, after that, we're going to go into the categories of business that we have in these five kinds of business. And you don't want to miss any of these videos. Okay, so welcome to my channel. And this is fantastic to have you here. Hit the like button so that YouTube can suggest this video to more people who have money problems like you and I. See you later. Bye.